King and Smith here, real movement. Should you be doing full body workouts or should you be doing upper lower body splits? The answer to this one is pretty simple. You should be doing full body workouts if the goal is primarily fat loss because you're gonna activate more tissue, you're gonna deplete more glycogen. That's gonna cause you to use more fat to, to replenish muscle glycogen. It's gonna cause you to have more uh, post-workout energy consumption, breathe more after your session. So whole body workouts are great for fat loss. If the goal is muscle gain, then we're better to divide, okay? All the greatest bodybuilders divide into body parts. But the body part split, if you think about it, you're tearing down muscle tissue and you need to open that up so that it receives new amino acids, it assimilates new amino acids into that tissue and you gain size, okay? Together with water, together with other minerals and nutrients. But basically, if you're trying to do that to the whole body all the time, you're not gonna get as much accumulation of damage in one area, and you're also not, not, not gonna get as much accumulation of repair, okay? So just flaring up the whole system doesn't mean you add muscle, because you want to damage an area and repair that area. If that's systemic, it's going to be more challenging to the body, okay? So naturally, this is kind of going to happen, even if you're doing full body workouts, it tends to be that you smash up one part more than the other part. And it's kind of a continuum in between the two. So I don't really like the complete body part split kind of approach, like a day for arms and shoulders and a day for, you know, back and abs and a day for legs, like, by going upper body, lower body, I think makes sense to most people looking to add muscle. It also kind of simplifies the process, helps to keep the workouts um, short enough that we can recover well from them as well. Okay, so generally it's going to be more beneficial to have shorter workouts that we don't feel overly taxed by than doing those super long ones. If you want to do super long workouts, then yeah, maybe having them two weeks apart. You know, Mauro Di Pasquale, extremely successful powerlifter, would absolutely trash himself in the gym in you know, three, four-hour sessions, and then rest for two weeks. You know, so there are many, many ways to skin the cat, but you, you know, success leaves clues, and you look for what's been most successful. Those body part splits, something that have have stuck around, something that my you know, mentor Charles Pollockwern and a lot of the guys who've gone through that system they will tend to focus upper body, lower body. But if fat loss is the goal, then you know get all the tissues involved. You may not want to create massive eccentric muscle damage in all the tissues. Now we're getting into the weeds a little bit more, but when you use heavy eccentrics, you get more mTOR release, more muscle damage. If you're using strongman type exercises, then you can deplete glycogen without causing a lot of systemic inflammation. And that will help with fat loss without overly taxing the body. Uh, creating an excessive um, inflammatory response and will still kind of leave resources for, say, upper body hypertrophy plus lower body glycogen depletion. This is how you want to be thinking about uh, your body part splits. Ultimately, if you're working hard and you're getting stronger, then, you, you know, you're going to be moving towards where you want to go to. So don't get too distracted with this. But I find for myself, if I don't tell myself, upper body, lower body, workouts tend to get too long, and then I'm likely you know, to get into a bit more burnout, a bit more challenge in that way. So there are gonna be individual differences with this as well. If your sport is very much whole body, for example, like weightlifting, which is a lower body dominant you know, thing in itself, and probably they don't get too much eccentric loading of the upper body on most training days either. But uh, if your sport is very much full body, for example, like weightlifting, you know, they're not gonna upper body, lower body split as much, you know, that doesn't necessarily fit with what their their objective, where they're gonna have those full body movements uh, in their competition. But yeah, even saying that, they're probably only gonna do their, you know, dips and chins a couple of times a week. And so that does create that kind of upper, upper lower split as well. I'd love to hear what's worked for you. 
Uh, what do you, you know, what do you enjoy most? Have you played around with full body during time of fat loss? Body part split when you're looking for more uh, muscle gains, upper lower split. Do you really like that hyper the bodybuilding style? Just getting in and trash one or two muscle muscle groups. Um, love to hear you, what works for you and uh, what you're enjoying. If you found this useful, let me know. Thanks for checking out the video. Next step, if you'd like to take this a little bit further, would be to jump over to realmovement.com, R-E-A-L-M-V-M-T.com. And from there, you can either jump on the one hour athlete program, you can join our team, or you can book a planning session. Those actions will take you deeper inside of what Real Movement is all about and help you go to the next level in your health and your performance.